Okay, the method we're going to use to solve these three problems is a trial and error method. The trial and error method is, a, is a, also known as a, a guess and check method or sometimes try, test, and revise. But essentially, you come up with a way to keep track of different possibilities. And usually what you want to do is you want to calculate so that it equals, your guess equals one of the two conditions. In this condi case, the conditions are $3.20 and 20 coins. And then you're limited to quarters and nickels. So we're going to have nickels here and quarters here. And then here's going to be our total am amount of money, total dollars. So when I do my guesses, I'm going to make sure my guesses add up to 20 coins. I think a good starting point is 10 nickels and 10 quarters. Well, with 10 nickels and 10 quarters, um, your 10 nickels is 50 cents. Your 10 quarters is 250. And so the total dollar amount is $3. So that was a good first guess because it got us close to the 320. Well, if we need more money, hopefully it makes sense that what you want to do is add an extra quarter and take away a nickel. And it turns out 45 cents for the nickels, 9 times 5, $2.75 for the quarters gives you $3.20. So on our second guess, we found out that the answer is 9 nickels and 11 quarters, 20 total coins, is equal to $3.20. 21, it says the Sycamore basketball team made 25 shots in a game against ISI. If the sh shots were either worth 2 points or 3 points and they scored 59 points, how many 3-point shots did they make? Same as this one, except that you're going to have 2 points and 3-pointers. And then we want a total amount. And we want our total amount to equal 59. And so we need to add up to get 25 shots. So again, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to use a guess that's pretty close together. 12 2-pointers, 13 3-pointers, and see what happens. Well, that's going to give me 24, 2 times 12, plus 39, 3 times 13, which is 63 points. So I've made too many points. Well, it makes sense that if I've made too many points that I've made too many three-pointers, so I need to limit it. So I could try going down one and see what happens. So flipping around. Well, that would give me 26 from the two points and then 36, which is just 62. Well, if you notice, if I try you know, to go down one and up one again, I'm going to end up with 28 plus 33, which is 61. They keep going down one each time, so I'm going to skip 15 and 10 and go straight to 16 and 9. Does that work? Well, 16 two-pointers is 32 points. Nine three-pointers is 27. That equals 59 total points. So the answer is 16 two-pointers and nine three-pointers. The final guess and check problem, Mark is three years older than his sister. Product of their ages is 270. How old is Mary? Well, so on this one, it doesn't matter. So you got Mark and Mary. And then you could actually do this anyway. Either way, I'm going to start with the product method where you, you, add to, you get an example that is three apart, and then you multiply it together. So you might start with you know, Mark being 10 and Mary being 7. Well, if you did that, you realize, oh, geez. I'm not even close. I got 70. So let's make it a quite a bit more. So let's give Mark be 20 and Mary 17. Well, now when I multiply those together, I get 340. So my answer must be somewhere in between. And it looks like it's probably closer to the top part than the bottom. So maybe I'll try Mark 17 and Mary 14. So I do 17 times 14, which is, well, I can already see I've got a problem because I got an 8 there and I need a 0. Um, and so that's going to give me 238, which is just below where I need to be. So what if I tried 18 and 15? Hopefully that seems like a good guess because 8 times 5 gives you the required 0 there. 5 times 1 carry a 4 is 90. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. Yes. 18 times 15 is 270. So the um, Mary would be 15 years old because she was the younger of the two.